A 10-month block on hundreds of military promotions is seemingly coming to an end. Immediately, we're bringing in congressional correspondent Nathaniel Reed with this breaking news. Uh, Nathaniel, Senator Tommy Tuberville has been the sole man holding this up. Can you walk us through this turn of events? Well, this was over anger that the senator had about some of the military's changed abortion policies, allowing uh, service members to seek abortions, be reimbursed for travel to states that allow abortions. Now, Senator Tuberville has acknowledged to reporters, he's currently talking to them, that the tide has shifted against him. He's lifting the vast majority of his military holds. About 434 currently held military holds will be lifted. He is keeping some in place, however, 11 four-star general promotions uh, will be held up for now, but that is the vast majority of those holds on our nation's highest uh, military officers will be lifted, meaning that all 434 of those can now receive the unanimous promotions that they typically receive from the Senate. So this is humongous seismic news, a tacit acknowledgement from Senator Tuberville that his plan to try and stop the Biden administration's uh, abortion policy in the military, uh, his plan to try and stop that from happening ultimately failed. The fact that he's keeping some of those holds in place, he's trying to continue that pressure on the Biden administration, but largely uh, the tide has shifted against him. A number of Republicans in recent days had blasted Senator Tuberville publicly on the Senate floor um, for keeping up this policy of holding up military nominees. Now, the vast majority of those will receive uh, unanimous promotions uh, from the U.S. Senate. 434 military promotions that have been held, as you mentioned, for about 10 months have now been lifted in the last couple of minutes. Senator Tuberville acknowledging that to reporters uh, as we speak. We'll have much more, of course, later. But uh, for now, we know that some of those promotions, which have been held up for 10 months, have now been released about 11 uh, of those promotions will continue to be stalled. Those are just nominees, though, for four-star generals. Uh, the full breakdown, just to give you an idea here, there were 228 uh, one-star general promotions that were being held up, 142 star general promotions that were being held up, and 66 three-star uh, promotions that were being held up. Just 11 of those promotions being held up were for four-star generals, and those will continue to be held. But the vast majority, 434 promotions, mm-hmm. now allowed to continue. Certainly many in the nation's military likely glad to see their promotions finally come through after a nearly year-long hold by Senator Tuberville. Absolutely. I mean, this is people's livelihoods, and also there were arguments on how this would be affecting national security as well. So, of course, major news here. I'm curious, as the day progresses, reaction from fellow senators as well um, after 10 months of this uh, on both sides of the aisle. Congressional correspondent Nathaniel Reed joining us live from Washington with this breaking news. Thank you very much.